sometimes we're envious of the things that we see and we want and it's not any better than what you have. Sometimes you have gold at home and you don't know because you're so caught up in thinking that what we see on YouTube or what we see in the videos are, um, they, you know, they have the jackpot and you don't, they hit it somehow. Good morning! Yeah, Gabrielle and I are doing the laundry because it's been on my bed, so we need to do it. And look how Gabrielle's doing it. And his sister won't get up. When you can't feed him, join him! Hmm? This is lunch. How do you like eggs and bread, anyways? I love eggs. I love bread. With avocado. Ooh, this is Sunny's idea, yeah, right? Avocado on here. This is mine. I'm still getting my plate ready, but this is theirs. Is it yummy, Jay? Yeah. Mm. And Bree is getting the jam because we're gonna put jam on our bread. Okay, I gotta eat because my <gasps> mouth is watering just looking at the salt. <laughs> I got my sandwich, guys. It looks like this. It's so yummy. Mmm. It is missing tomato. I usually have tomato and other things inside of it, but today. This is how I'm having it. And then I'm having, of course, a piece with jam. You need a big mess. Right Why aren't you doing your sandwich over the... Plate? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good question. <laughs> Had you been doing that, it would fall on your plate. But then we'll get my egg and jam. Uh, yeah. Better for it to get your egg and jam, or egg and plate as opposed to being on the table. There, it's done. It's looking like that. She has two with jam and two with, I guess, okay. eggs and mm. avocado. With butter. With butter. So you're gonna eat? Yep. Orange juice makes you happy. Ding. <laughs> Is there anything in there? Anything? Oh, there it is! Oh, tiny bit! Let's drink it. Okay, I won't pour it in my glass. <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, a little is a lot to someone who has not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I have none! That seems like so much to me! <laughs> yeah. It's all done and gone, girl. Mm -hmm. You want some? Gotta go back in my stomach and get it. Yeah. Hi guys. So I wanted to make this quick video and it is in regards to a matter that's been going around here on YouTube. Now it's on this big, it's basically big news of infidelity that's been discussed most recently by two vloggers that I've been watching for years, guys. Um, I don't want to talk too much on it because it's not my story to tell or my place to judge, but it just gave me, it just put things in perspective for me and I want to share a little bit with you guys because... I want to just basically talk about first first and foremost I there are two sides to YouTube uh, okay first I understand the side where us as vloggers we want to share what we want to share and we want to share it when we want to share it we don't want to feel cornered or backed or feel you know compelled or forced to share what we don't want to share because it it's it is our lives and to a certain extent we do have the freedom to make the choice. I should probably turn that light on in the background. However, I do understand from a subscriber's perspective, especially if they if they've been a subscriber following you for some time and they look up to you, they 
want to know what's going on and it becomes kind of touchy because i don't know when it comes to something as serious as infidelity i guess they would i guess they'd want to know i could understand why they'd want to know but i can definitely understand from the vloggers perspective why they may not want to share because it's something so private and hurtful and I want to say that, I mean, first and foremost, I was shocked because two of these vloggers that I've been watching for years came out with this and one was like more of a old news and the other one was more so, I guess, very recent and the most recent one I was very shocked about. I had no clue, but then again, it, this is the part that put me into perspective that allows me to remember that, wait a second, these guys are just people like you and me. They just pick up a camera. I just pick up a camera and I just vlog my life. That's what they're doing. They are people. They're capable of mistakes. Whether or not they vlog, they probably would be going through the same thing. They may or may not have been going through the same thing. I don't know. But it's just, you know what I mean? It's like this, they're still the same people. They're still people who are capable of making mistakes, who are capable of making errors. That's not my place to judge and I don't want to really speak on that. I just want to... I did this video to basically shed light that there are two sides to YouTube, to YouTube world. And sometimes I feel like, you know, sometimes subscribers may not remember that or understand that. And also sometimes vloggers seem to not understand that too. And they can understand, understand that the subscribers who help build them up may very well, you know, become so attached in a sense that they want to know exactly what's going on, especially if it's happened a while back. And everything's been vlogged as if everything is fine, especially on like a relationship level or matter. And then all of a sudden there's like, bam, like this happened. I can understand where it creates a little bit of contro controversy between <laughs> subbies and vloggers. Anyways, another point that it also brings up is the fact that I remember before just watching a lot of these subscribers and just watching and feeling, sometimes you feel envious, sometimes you feel, you just feel like, you know, they've got what you want. They've got the perfect family because that's what's being portrayed. They got the, the money, they've got the big house and all that. And sometimes it's not, things are not what they seem. They're not always what they seem. People may have big houses, but they're renting them. People portray full happiness, but they're not always happy. People are portraying this perfect family, but behind closed doors, they're falling apart. I'm just saying, I'm not throwing shade at anyone. I'm just saying that People do not, you don't know, and I'm not saying that my life is like that or I'm experiencing anything like that. I'm just saying that I don't want you guys to, to become envious of anything, not from me or from other vloggers, just the things that you see. Just, you know, it's about watching smart and always keeping things in perspective because it's easy to get caught up and easy to just become envious and feel like, oh, they've got it, and you don't. Keep in, li in mind that... Whatever you have is good enough. Even if you want to, you want to, you have goals you want to achieve, you want something that's bigger and better, that's fine. I'm not telling you to not have your goals. I'm just saying keep in mind that whatever you have right now, it's good enough for now because sometimes we're envious of the things that we see and we want and it's not any better than what you have. Sometimes you have gold at home and you don't know because you're so caught up in thinking that what we see on YouTube or what we see in the videos are, um, they, you know, they have the jackpot and you don't. They hit it somehow. I just want like, everyone to just keep that in mind because I feel like it's something that I'm getting to learn more and more. I've Over the years, I've just seen some of them, you know, come to the table. Some YouTubers that I've been following, they seem to have had it all. And sometimes then you learn, bam, that, oh, this and this happened. Oh, this and this. And it's like, what? Really? So... I just wanted to, to say that. So, you know, one of the main points why I share my vlogs is to show you the dynamic of my family. It's crazy. My hubby and I met when we were young. We were 18 and 19, got married young at 20, had children at 20, went into school. And just life for us has, we've been kind of living life backwards and it's working out for us. We're very fortunate because most people who live it that way, they don't always bounce back. So that's a part of why I share my life. I share my life being a young mom who own homeschools. I mean, I don't consider myself that young anymore, 30, <laughs> 31. But we, I do for those reasons to show you things. It's not to show perfection or to create a false image in any way, shape or form. It's really just to just give you guys an insight as to how life can be from a young couple's perspective who is doing things against the norm. That's okay. Mm -hmm.
I only find nine. The kids are over here. They're wrapping up their back sheets on the Canadian border, borders and territories. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Tired, huh? It's kind of like homework. And I'm over here cooking again and actually putting together some snacks for them. And it's a little treat. They don't know how. To... This is the end result of the treat. Just consists of um, almonds and milk chocolate chips and white chocolate chips. I got the very, very top. Look what I have. <gasps> like it? Does not want to drink her ginger tea. Never. Come on, Nikola. Why don't you want to drink it? Come on, tell him. I'm not burn my throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That tea doesn't hurt your throat. It's so good. Says who? What are you doing? John. Yes, it's a shark. Mm. Jumping out of the water. Wait a second, I thought it was a hamburger. Hey! <laughs> yeah, it's so, Shar just finished brushing her teeth. I was asking if she wanted a treat. He answered yes. Go, 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 go. He is the lost in space girl. Hi, Michaela. And then he said, she ran she ran away because she thought Is this a book that kids can read? No. No, it's not. But anyway, they're on a walk and she can't figure out who he permits him uh, to be petted by. And she says she was she, dad she speaking. Sorry if it's too bright. If my skin is too light. I'll see your face now. I'm no, you're not. You're just trying to act like mom. Makes you think that, Akilla. Eh? Huh? Huh? Chug it down. Chug, 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 chug. Choo, choo. It's going down your stomach. Not breathing, not breathing. Ah. <laughs> Sorry if it's light. I'm a fun 